what is going on guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to do the solo car merge glitch in gdf online so that you can merge your f1 or benny's wheels after the patch of 1.67 this method has little requirements that everyone has plus it is working on all consoles but quickly before getting to that if you do want to enter our 24,000 subscriber shot card giveaway then all you gotta do is drop a like subscribe to the channel and then comment the word giveaway and you'll be entered into that but yeah anyway let's just get straight into the video all right so to go ahead and get started with doing this merge you're gonna want to go over to your bunker and then you're gonna want to head inside once you're right inside of your bunker just turn around and go ahead and exit and then once we're outside now you're gonna want to make your way over to your auto shop so you can use any way to get over there you can just grab an npc vehicle you can call out your personal vehicle or what I do, I just call out my Sparrow from Michael Sapka. You can also use the CEO button as well. Just use any way to get over to your auto shop. So yeah, I'll see you guys once we're over there. If you guys don't want to have to spend hours grinding out these glitches, be sure to check out the instant delivery modded accounts from MitchCactus.com, which is available for Xbox, PlayStation and PC. That comes with between 50 million to 1 billion dollars, as well as RP level 100 and more. They also offer account boost, meaning that an existing account of yours can have money or RP added to it. These guys have over 4,500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable models. There will be a link in the pinned comment and description and be sure to use code AVADE for 5% off. Once you arrive, you're just going to want to head inside. Now you're going to want to go and get inside of the car that has the F1 or the Benny's wheels that you're going to want to transfer to the other vehicle. So as you see, I have a Benny's vehicle right here, but I'm just going to be using this F1 vehicle here. You can also use an F1 car, just make sure you do customize the wheels before doing this. But yeah, just go ahead and get inside of the vehicle. Now just hit right in the d-pad to enter the mod shop. As you see, you're going to see the cutscene where you get brought into the mod shop, and once you're actually on the menu, you simply just want to back out. Now just get outside of the car and now you're going to head over to any location at which you're going to be able to press right on the d-pad. So you can either sit at these chairs down here or you can come up these stairs. You can also use this table right here or if there is an arcade machine right here you can also use that. But for me I'm just going to come into this room right here and I'm going to go up to this wardrobe. So just go up to whatever you're going to use. I'll just open up your interaction menu, go to register as a boss and then register as a CEO. Then just put up your phone, go to contacts and you're going to want to call up Tony. There's also some other contacts you can use but I just recommend you use Tony. And once you've called him up in the top left of your screen you're going to see an option that reads request club management. So you just want to click this option and once you've clicked it you're also going to want to hit right in the d-pad to enter the wardrobe or the chair whichever you're using. As you can see I do it right here. And now we're just going to wait here until we see a 20 minute timer pop up in the bottom right of your screen. So pay attention to the bottom right of your screen right now. And after around 10 to 20 seconds you're going to see a 20 minute timer pop up. And once it does you can now just back off of the chair or the wardrobe. And now you're going to want to head over to the service vehicle that you're going to want to merge to. So this is my only service vehicle right here. So you just want to come up to it. Now just hit right in the d-pad and you're going to see all of the mods just appear on the vehicle and your couch is just going to walk to the left. And there you go. So now as you see this car now has the F1 wheels that were transferred from the F1 wheeled car over there. Now if you don't actually come up to the car and try to purchase it, as you can see you actually can't, nothing's actually going to happen. As you're going to have to wait the full 20 minutes out before you can actually go ahead and purchase it. So yeah, just go AFK for 20 minutes, just don't get kicked from the session or you're actually going to have to do, redo the whole glitch. But yeah, I'll just see you guys after 20 minutes. Alright, there we go, the 20 minute timer has now passed, so now if I come up to the service vehicle and I click X to purchase it, as you can see I could put it into any garage, so I might as well just put it into my auto shop since I'm already here. Now I'm going to head over to the garage section and we're going to wait for it to spawn in. And now as you can see, once it does actually spawn in, just go ahead and get inside of it, and I'll just hit right in the d-pad to enter the mod shop. And now we're going to go and change one thing on the vehicle, it can literally be anything. And yeah, now you have fully saved this vehicle. So that's how you can do the solo car merge glitch in GDF Online. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Do be sure to drop a like and subscribe. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.